Hello children, hope you are doing well. We were studying about agricultural practices, right? We have already covered our first step that was preparation of soil and the second step that was sowing of seed. So let's move on to a third step which is adding manure and fertilizers, right? So students, we all need nutrients for our growth. Human beings need nutrients for their growth, right? In the same manner, plants also need nutrients for their growth. Plants approximately need 17 to 18 elements for their growth, right? So out of which three elements are easily available from sunlight, air and water. But what about other 15 elements? How the plant is going to get those 15 elements, 15 nutrients essential for its growth? Right, soil. Soil is going to provide those 15 essential elements, 15 essential minerals to the plant. But tell me one thing. Farmer has grown crop on the field, right? So that crop has taken up the nutrients from the soil. Right? Once it is cultivated, now the farmer has grown again. Again, that practice has been repeated. The crop is grown on that field. The crop is cultivated. Now the crop has again taken up that those nutrients from the soil, right? Because it is the basic requirement, it will take the nutrients from the soil. All right. So imagine what is happening with the nutrients in the soil. Tell me, what will happen to that nutrient in the soil? It will result in the poor nutrients in the soil. Soil with poor nutrients, right? So there is a need to replenish the soil, to add the nutrients in the soil, right? There is a need to add nutrients in the soil. How can it be done? How a farmer is going to replenish uh, the soil with the nutrients? Right, by adding manure and fertilizer. So today we are going to study about manures and fertilizer. So students, the substances which we add to the soil in the form of nutrients for healthy growth of plants are called manure and fertilizers. Here we are studying about manure. Manure is an organic substance obtained from the decomposition of plant or animal waste. What farmer does, farmer dumps plant and animal waste in pits at open places and allow it to decompose. The decomposition is caused by some microorganisms. The decomposed matter is used as organic manure, right? So you understood what is organic manure? Manure is an organic substance obtained from the decomposition of plant or animal waste. So students, I was telling you about the nutrients, that there are certain nutrients which are essential for plants to grow. Here we have the nutrients, basic nutrients which I told you that these three Elements, these three nutrients are easily available to the plant by water, air and sunlight. That is carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. These are basic nutrients which are readily available to them, right? Then there come six nutrients which are called as macronutrients, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium and sulfur. Why they are called as macronutrients? Because they are required by plants in a larger quantity. Okay, other nutrients are called as micronutrients because they are required by plants in a very small quantity. Now, let's suppose we want uh, for the soil any particular nutrient, any particular macronutrient like I want nitrogen, phosphorus or potassium. Uh, first of all, I would like to tell you about nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. These are three macronutrients which are primary macronutrients. Nitrogen helps plant make the proteins they need to produce new tissues, right? And the phosphorus, it stimulates root growth. It helps the plant set birds and flowers. It also increases seed size. And the potassium, it helps the plant make carbohydrates and provides 
disease resistant so i was i was telling you children in case the soil needs any particular uh, nutrient then what do we do then we will provide the soil with fertilizers what are fertilizers fertilizers are the chemicals which are rich in particular nutrient how are they different from manures fertilizers are produced in factories all right they are high nutrient content they are rich in particular nutrient they are rapidly taken up by plants they are man made inorganic salt there are various examples of fertilizers such as urea ammonium sulfate super phosphate potash npk that is nitrogen phosphorus and potassium etc the use of fertilizers has really helped farmers to get better yield of crops such as wheat paddy and maize but you know children excessive use of fertilizers has made the soil fertile also there are disadvantages if we use the fertilizers in excess like excess of fertilizer they get washed away with water and they cause water pollution they harm the microbes which are present in soil microbes you remember which are uh, very helpful in producing the uh, humus right and they also reduce the soil fertility they also change the nature of soil make it either too acidic or too alkaline so these are the disadvantages of using fertilizers so in order to maintain the fertility of the soil we have to substitute fertilizers with organic manure why so because we have certain benefits of using manure like manure enhances the water holding capacity it makes the soil porous it also increases the number of friendly microbes it also improves the texture of soil so the manure is a natural substance which is obtained by the decomposition of cattle dung and plant residues it can be prepared in the fields it also provides lot of humus to the soil but it is relatively less rich in plant nutrients if you compare it with the fertilizers students there are other methods also to replenish the soil with nutrients which we will discuss in our next class so by that time you have to go through the handout uh, if you have any query do write me all right okay bye bye